Hey friends, Joshua Rilko here from Lindsay Lou and the Flat Bellies. Um, I'm here as part of the Earthwork Instructional Series to show you a lick that I play in our song Hot Hands, which is on our album Ionia. Uh, it's the main lick that you'll hear in the beginning and throughout all the verses of the song. And it kind of combines a melody, a little melodic motif that's kind of played over and over again, and a chop, and a harmonic. So. Um, let's get to it, shall we? Okay, the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do is make sure that you've listened to the song that we are talking about here. It's called Hot Hands. It's on our album Ionia. Uh, you can find it on iTunes, Spotify, um, but preferably earthworkmusic.com. So once you've listened to it and you can hear that mandolin like and what it sounds like, then you're ready to try to actually actually learn it. So it, it's kind of two different bits. Um, I'll show you the first bit. It goes like this. Two, three, four. Okay. The second bit goes like this. Two, three, four. All right. So let's not worry about the the stuff up here for now. Let's just worry about what goes on down here. This song is in the key of C. Uh, C chord sounds like this. The way I'm playing that particular C chord is having an open G note, uh, my first finger on the second fret of the D string, my th uh, second finger on the third fret of the A string, and my E string could be either open or I could bar it and also go on the third fret of that, so then it sounds like this. Anyway, that's the key of the song. The part that we're going to play the lick over goes back and forth between a C and an A minor. But we're not going to be actually be playing those chords, we're going to be playing the lick. I'm going to show you the notes of an A minor 7 arpeggio because those that's the batch of notes that this lick is made of. That batch of notes sounds like this. So what I'm doing there is playing 2nd fret of the G string, it's an A note, 5th fret of the G string, that's a C note, 2nd fret of the D string, that's an E note, 5th fret of the D string, that's a G note, 7th fret of the D string, that's an A note. The lick actually starts on this high A note instead of the low one. And it goes right down. Seven, five, two, five. Now make sure that your right hand is getting the pick strokes the right direction. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. And then we do the chop and the harmonic. But just try to get this for now. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay. Once you get that, we can do the second half of the lick, which starts the same. But then right here, here's the difference. We end on the second fret of the G string on that A note instead of the fifth fret. What I'm doing there is using my pinky on the seventh fret, of course, my ring finger on the fifth fret, but then I'm gonna bar the D string and the G string with my first finger. So I can go, and remember that's up, down. That note is still ringing when I hit that note, and then I cut them both off by lifting my finger. Because then I come up here and chop and do the harmonic. So see if you can practice that one too. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Once you got them both down, you can put them together, and we'll still leave the harmonic and chop for, for later once we get this. Here's the whole thing. One, two, three, four. 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 Two, three, four
two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Once you got that down, we can move on to the chop and the harmonic. What I'm gonna do for the chop is I'm gonna try to slide up so my pinky is uh, on the 12th fret, not pushing the strings down, but just resting on top of it. But I can't just chop like that because I'll get all that harmonic noise. So I'm gonna use my other fingers to kind of mute all the strings and get a nice, hopefully a nice chop followed immediately by a nice harmonic on the E string. And then the second time, the chop will be followed by a nice harmonic on the A string. To get harmonics, usually a lot of folks would use the tip of their finger to get a nice sounding harmonic, but because of the nature of the chop right before the harmonic, whoop, I got my pinky laid across those strings and I'm using the fleshier part of my finger to try to just ever so gently coax out a nice harmonic. The trick to this is getting a nice full sounding chop, right, and then immediately trying to get that nice harmonic. You could practice it by going like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three and so on. One, two, three, four. Whoop. I missed some of them. Now at the end I added a little embellishment and um, you're welcome to play along with the recording and try to add some embellishments too. Just make sure not to get in the way of the vocalist. So some of the embellishments I might add usually come at the end of every four licks. Um, so some of them might sound like this. One, two, three, four. Here's three. Four. Okay, so those are just a few things I might do. That last one involved uh, barring the G and the D string on the second fret, going to the fifth fret, second fret, whoop, and then open. Okay, the other one involved a uh, hammer on from the second to the fifth fret on the G string and then 2nd fret on the D string, and 5th fret on the D string. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, learning, learning that little melodic motif combined with the chop and the harmonic, play along with the recording, add your own flavor to it, and take this idea of maybe having some sort of little repeating, looping melody combined with a chop and maybe a harmonic even, and try to work the mandolin in that, in that way into your own music or the music you play with others. Um, it can make for a much more interesting sound to the song than maybe if you were to just chop the whole time. All right, have fun.